fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. Welcome to the north of Italy, where today's practice session is about to start for this weekend's Italian Grand Prix. One of the most famous corners here at Monza is the Varianti del Retifilio, uh, the first corner chicane. It's been the scene of so many first lap incidents over the years, and I think the teams will be holding their breath, hoping that they make it through that corner cleanly at the start today. This is such a tricky corner to find the right braking point for. You approach it around 220 miles per hour down the main straight, then scrub off 170 miles per hour in just over 100 metres. It's very easy, therefore, to overshoot and end up driving through the escape road. Hey guys, my name is Gaming, and today I'm back with another video, and today I'm back with part 14 of my F1 2018 career mode here on Force India. And it's the turn of the Italian Grand Prix, as you can see, we're doing practice programmes. As we did start the video, like, just in practice instead of before practice. But yeah, sorry about the lengthy bloody gap between videos. My stepdad was a cunt and took my laptop. Great. But yeah, we are actually going fastest in practice one, which is uh, very good. Very good. Our, our car should be very strong around this track because our car's got no, like, hardly any drag, to be honest with you. And also... We got the Mercedes power engine, the strongest power en engine in the fu a straight line, in my opinion, anyway. Some of you might say Ferrari is, but I think Mercedes is the strongest in a straight line. But anyway, we get some decent, we get some decent re resource points. Sorry about that. Resource points for uh, for some upgrades towards our car. Uh, we nearly have a thousand as it stands, but yeah, this is, at the time of recording this bit, like this video. Season 1 should have been finished, like, next week. Next week, Season 1 would have been finished, but no! It's going to take even longer. Uh, I have edited up to Mexico. Mexico is currently being edited, but we do actually get the, uh, we fix our upgrades that didn't actually go onto the car, so we'd have them going into Singapore. But yeah, so it'll take, I think, December this series will be finished, depending on how long it takes for me to, uh, Voice over, but anyway, let's go into qualifying for the Italian qualifying Grand Prix. Qualifying is about to start here at the Autodromo di Monza for the Italian Grand Prix. The teams are about to head out onto the track any minute now. I want to talk briefly about the strategy in these qualifying sessions. Anthony Davidson, how can a driver adjust their approach to gain those critical extra tenths of a second? Well, qualifying isn't about adjusting your approach necessarily, it's more about trying to repeat a low fuel run that you've practiced prior to this session. You're looking for perfection on the lap, and that's hard to achieve if you're trying something new. There are some variables that can stand in your way, however. Track position or unexpected yellow flags, for example. Coupled with ever-changing track conditions, it's important to be out there at the right moment. But as a driver, you have to try and ignore these distractions and just keep your mind focused on that one perfect lap. So here we are, <laughs> ahead of Q1, and we've so got a fault. So that's going to half our time available for our laps. So instead of being able to do like two or three laps, we can only do one. I probably would have only done like, I well, actually could do two laps because it is quite a short track around here in Monza. But yeah, we're only going to do one, and we do we go fastest, which is a very good sign. Perez is actually in fourth, so this is actually a good sign that our car is very strong around this track. So looking forward to getting into Q2, uh, we're going to go start on our lap now, um, we only do one lap though, so we're not going to have, like this is just a bank lap, we're on the soft tyres, not the fastest tyres available for this weekend, but that means we are going to be going for the one stop, I mean it's not the best for racing in real life, no it's a one stop, but it's going to help us try and maybe even get another podium as we did in Belgium, if you didn't see that go watch it now. Uh, but we go fourth with that Q2 lap time. Um, we actually finish in eighth. We get out qualified by a teammate. He was actually on the set softer than us, so we get we get through on the soft. So we are going to be started on that. Only, only me and someone else did anyway. So yeah, but that does mean we're actually going to get an extra set of uh, super soft tyres in Q3, and we're going to go on to one of our. I think we're going to get one lap time actually, to be honest with you. As this is going to be a full lap time. We're going 217 miles an hour. Can we get the break? Because no, we can't. 
uh, unfortunately. We're through, we lost the back end there through a, a turn two. I can't pronounce whatever that on earth that corner's called. I don't speak Italian. Danny F1, if you're watching, you speak Italian, so you could probably say it better than me. But anyway, at the end of the first sector, we said 26, uh, 7. Uh, which is alright. See, it's not, it's not too bad. We're down through Lesmo 1, and this is where I lose quite a lot of time through here. I am like, yeah, I don't know how or why, but I just lose like two or three temps. Sebastian Vettel sets the first lap time, so it's a 54 3. Are we going to be able to beat that? Going down in the end of the second sector, we are four temps slower, which is actually pretty good considering we're in a Force India, he's in a Ferrari, and the gap difference between the top 10, uh, the top 6, and the rest of us. But yeah, this is going to be our only lap time. We're currently third. Someone set another lap time in second. Round the last corner, Parabolica. Where's it going to be? We do gain a lot of time through here. As you can see, the racing line actually says to slow down, but you don't need to. But up to the line, 1 minute 21.2. We are so much faster than Sebastian Vettel. No, we're not. No, we are actually. Perez is actually in 10th, but we only managed to get pole by 0.072 of a second. 7 tenths. No, 7 hundredths of a second uh, faster. Sebastian Vettel actually come 4th, so... Yeah, but anyway, that is a brilliant, that's going to be us on pole for the Italian Grand Prix. Our first pole of the career mode, our first pole of the season, of course. Is it our first pole of, yeah, I think it's our first in his first pole. Anyway, because Perez actually won in it, uh, France, so he's actually got that up on us. So maybe, maybe this could be a good chance if we can get into turn one without any damage, without losing any positions we can get through turn one we might be able to just uh slip it well i don't know why i said slip it but keep out keep it like yeah just keep it ahead of everyone else i can't speak it's been a long time well since done. i've bloody done a result. commentary it's been like race. it's been over a month since this this was recorded i think i recorded it like abu dhabi uh like i don't know about a month and a week ago it's currently on 31st of october I know I finished season one in like mid September, so yeah, I can't remember what hardly ever happened in like these races. We are going to have a completely dry race, but speaking of which, let's go into the Italian Grand Prix, where we'll be starting on pole for the very first time. It's race day here in Italy once again. Monza, home to so many records. The smallest winning margin, for example. Do you remember in 1971, Peter Gethin beat Ronnie Peterson to the line by one hundredth of a second. There were 40 overtakes for the lead alone in 1965, and Kimi Raikkonen clocked a record top speed of 230 miles per hour here, just over a decade ago. So there's a lot to live up to then for all of our drivers today. With top speeds up to 215 miles per hour and an average lap speed of around 155 miles per hour, Monza's reputation as one of the fastest circuits in the sport is well earned. We have 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with the best overtaking chance coming into the heavy braking zone of the Turn 1 chicane. It's a very tight Turn 1 here and a very big braking zone. It's a corner, Anthony Davidson, where we've seen a number of lap one incidents in the past. As you say, it's a very small piece of track when you have more than just one car trying to go through it. The actual run down towards the chicane is quite wide, so off the start, we'll often see drivers running two or maybe three abreast as they come up towards the braking zone. Everyone wants to brake late, of course, to win track position, and that tends to be where we see a lot of contact and you'll see the more experienced drivers kind of hang back a little into here and focus more on picking up the pieces from other people's incidents. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Joker lines up on pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo, and Verstappen, Raikkonen, Magnussen, Holkenberg and Sergio Perez. Sainz, Gasly, Charles Leclerc and Van Dorn. Alonso, they've taken a grid penalty. Sirotkin, Lance Stroll and Marcus Ericsson. Hartley and Roman Grosjean starts from the back of the grid. And with preparations almost complete, 
let's head down to the track. So here we are, on sat on the grid, in a pole position, clear run, straight down to turn two, turn one, I mean. But yeah, it, it feels good. First pole, I've said that about it many times, but it's going to be a one stop for us. The softs to the mediums. But just look at this. Like, oh, well, we've got quite a lot of wheel spin off to start there. Oh, no, uh, the formation that. But yeah, straight run, all the way down to turn one. Hopefully we should, I think I should cut into the inside line uh, just to defend off the Mercedes I think Lewis Hamilton is alongside it maybe Bottas I can't actually remember I did just watch the bloody grid formation but I uh, already forgot well they're both behind me whatever second or third so we should oh get on the grass there god uh, yeah we should be able to uh, at least get into turn one without losing too many positions we, we got quite a lot of power it's all about this start though the AI always seems to be get, a, get a better start than us but let's see as we got three four five lights light sound away we go for the Italian Grand Prix off the start we do move to the inside line but Hamilton's and Bottas has got such a good start on us as well as the Ferrari and we've already dropped down to P4 but are we going to go on the inside of anyone we are we're on the inside of Valtteri, Lewis Hamilton, Lewis Hamilton cuts the corner, and we, got, we are still side by side with Lewis Hamilton though, we've managed to get ahead of uh, Bottas, and now into turn four, we are going to be going round turn three as we go Curva Grande, whatever it's called, we're on the outside line, just like Lewis Hamilton was in real life, he's pushed us onto the grass, onto the braking zone, we managed to get him under braking, and we just cut in front of us, we do go very slowly for this, he's going to have a better exit than us, we're going to cut to the inside and block him off. And through Lesbo 1, we are still in P1. But now going on to lap 2, here comes Kimi, uh, Sebastian Vettel in down the inside of uh, Valtteri Bottas around the outside of Lewis Hamilton. But uh, uh, Sebastian Vettel has managed to get a double overtake on both the Mercedes. Well, this is helping us pull a massive gap. Already look, it's lap 2 and look at the uh, map already. We're so much further ahead than uh, the two drivers. But anyway, it is currently... I, I continued it on because Sebastian Vettel was still under pressure. But anyway, a lap 11. We've already skipped nine laps since our last clip. We're in the pits. Sebastian Vettel's also. I think Sebastian Vettel's already pitted. I'm not sure, but there he goes down uh, the back straight uh, uh, before Parabolica. Is it? I don't know. But here he, we come out of the pit and we're already ahead of Sebastian Vettel. What, like we are dominating. We expected to have a good result here, but not this good. But now lap 18, though. What is this? I don't know what we're doing, but we're just going around some corners. Lap 19. Yep, yeah, we're just pulling the gap. 2.6 seconds is the gap currently between me and Vettel. We've got nine, uh, eight laps. Uh, no, nine laps to go still. Uh, ahead of the Italian, uh, well, the Italian Grand Prix. Sebastian and Vettel is catching us. We're still first. No one's retired yet, which is good. Um... But yeah, here go we go down to Ascari. One of the like there's, there's actually not that many corners in like at Italy. We are we're actually purple in the middle sector. These are just clips, so just like fill out the video. Uh but yeah, black twenty-seven. Here we go down the DRS zone. Sebastian Vettel's caught us up by about a second. He's still out of the DRS zone on us though, the mini map you can see. We've pulled away from Bottas like massively. We're still purple in the middle sector as well. So, I don't know who got purple, but 1.4 seconds ahead of uh, Sebastian Vettel. But I don't feel that really matters anymore, because all we've got is Parabolica, and this long straight, and the start finish straight, and we're going to win the Italian Grand Prix for the first ever time in our F1 2018 career mode. Go very wide at Parabolica, these tyres are shot. But here we come, up to the line, we win already, and then we're going to win the Italian Grand Prix. The first ever win in 2018 career mode. Force India. Perez actually got the win in France, so we matched him. Brilliant but now Equal wins ahead for the Force India Worst teammate battle. But hopefully we've got uh, seven Davidson, races left. Thoughts. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully result? we can extend that gap. Consistency was probably the key today. That would be a very good, very, very good uh, thing to do. If you can do but that, here we are. You can the team celebrate him as we do. You can't do not. That is amazing. Charles Clark actually come tenth 
in uh well his team's not I home Grand Prix, but it's teams aimed to inspire his home Grand Prix. So here really we are on the podium. Long, long Sebastian Vettel comes second. The Tafosi is going to be to proud. Uh, Barry Bottas has actually come third. So I don't know what really what happened to Lewis Hamilton, but do I really care? No, because there's another Brit on the podium, and it's me, it's Chris Harfield, otherwise known as CJH Gaming. Ah, oh. it feels good to get our first win. Of Rifle 2018 career mode. And out of every YouTuber I've watched, I think that is the earliest win and after that this anyone's got for a career mode. I've only watched our uh, own buddy well, Tim Amado. I watched some of uh, Jimmy Broadbent or whatever his name is, like but I don't think he's got a win yet. He is in McLaren, so it's kind of, yeah, I have to give it to acceptable Hartley. not to get a win. Good battle, but there we are. Of course, he's still fourth in the constructors. Pass has actually overtaken Renault, so that's kind of good. They're only by one point now. Perry's actually come eighth, which is actually right. That's best of the rest. Because if you think about it, everyone moves down, the best of the rest move down. But Nico Hulkenberg was the only one to DNF, and that's probably why the Renault have managed to drop the position to Haas. I'm still ahead of my teammate as well, but let's go speak to Claire. Because she's very... No, she, she's... Yeah, she's happy. And uh, she wants to know if it's a comfortable win. And yeah, I, I, I say it would. The car drove superbly. Well, like your luck has changed. And yeah, she's Things also noticed that my luck's changed from the that they? poor, poor run from, well, I'd actually say Azerbaijan. That's You're where the poor run started. I didn't get any points in Azerbaijan, I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong if you, you ever use the play comment section. But yeah, she's, she's also noticed I was passing expectations, but that's just because of the bleak. Uh, the car, the aerodynamics is actually spot on. But yeah, it's also the team's Great. put faith well, in me. Everything. The team didn't put faith in me. I wouldn't even be in F1. And to get sh into F1 straight to Force India, which I would say is a top four team. Oh wow, at least a top six team. I know in real life they're not in the top six, but that's because they got the points to voted. But anyway, I would say they're a pretty good team. Uh, we've we currently got 661 points for that. We're back up to a thousand points, even after we've just pretty much purchased two upgrades for our car, which is fantastic. That's a great but, result. You I mean, really we well. might be able to get an upgrade and go into Singapore. We've already got two upgrades going to be on the car for Singapore, but maybe we can make that a third. We might go for some uh, durability because it's coming towards the end of the season. Most teams are going to take a penalties. Well our contract value has actually nice gone really like, far up. We're nearly half. Like, well, actually, I know. Contract, I'd say that's a, fat, a third. But anyway, we are. We're, on, we're sitting on a thousand points. Here we are looking at the tree. We're probably going to go with that minor upgrade. Actually, we can get the, the ultimate upgrade, the major upgrade. And we are. So that'll be on the car for Russia, hopefully. As Well, hopefully, everything goes to plan. But next up is the Singapore Grand Prix. So that's going to be fun. Singapore is not a good track for me, I can tell you that right now. So I'm not looking forward to that, but okay. anyway. We, had the new we are in Singapore, as I just skipped. We and we're going to get the upgrades on our car. And it's perfect. They're both on the car. It's pretty much guaranteed to be on the car anyway. So I don't know where I'm much shocked. Contact but anyway, we've got 171 points. Might be a good fit One more weekend team. until we get that another we major upgrade. And we've actually moved ahead of McLaren. I don't know if we've already been ahead of McLaren or not. But we are now... And I think that's going to be where I'm going to end it, to be honest with you. We're looking at a tree now. I don't think... We were actually... Just to cut it off here. We haven't actually had been told about any regulation changes. I know season one is guaranteed. But we haven't been told yet. So hopefully it's not... Hopefully it's like... I don't know. Durability or something. Or power trade. Because we've only got one upgrade right towards that. But anyway, I'm just CJ's Gaming. And I'll see you in the Singapore Grand Prix. Under the love floodlights, but anyway, I'll be serious, game, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.